process understanding is the first element necessary in beginning to determine how and where to optimize operations. The process we're tracking here is an insurance claims workflow, specifically in the property and casualty space. Now, Once we understand how the claims process flows, where bottlenecks occur and where time is lost, we can begin to focus our efforts to re-engineer those steps, retrain knowledge workers, or implement new technology in order to increase throughput and overall productivity. So the directive here from management is to find a way to cut down claim closeout times by 10%, and the core task will be to identify specific process improvement areas which will significantly reduce time and in turn costs. We'll start by visualizing our claims process flow using the schema module. The goal here is to provide an understanding of what the dominant process path looks like and where we may be experiencing long wait times and possible work queue backups and bottlenecks. Here in the schema module, we're looking at an automatically generated diagram highlighting what our process looks like from start to finish. Now, the nice thing here is that this is not just a static Visio diagram. We can see the thickness of the lines represents how many claims have taken one path or transition between certain events versus another. We can also analyze this by the amount of time it's taking us in any one area of the process. So if I change the metric, we now look at the average duration from one transition to the next, highlighting where we're spending the bulk of our time. Now the last thing to show here is the ability to animate this. When I turn this on, each circle is going to represent a claim or a group of claims, and we can see as they progress through the workflow where they start to slow down, where they're starting to bunch up and bottleneck in certain areas. This is where we're creating log jams and causing backups. As they're changing colors, they're actually aging within the workflow. So these are claims that have been in the process for a longer period of time. So this gives us a very good high-level view at exactly where time is being spent and where we want to may focus our efforts on re-optimizing our process. Next, we'll move into our path analysis module, which will highlight the many various ways that this process has been executed. So what we have here is a frequency distribution of all of our different process paths or behaviors with our most commonly followed execution path here to the left. So along the top, we've got the number of claims that have gone one set of steps or another relative to the activities that we have listed along the left. So clearly, we can pick out areas here where we've skipped steps, gone back to complete steps, jumped around and bounced back and forth between certain areas with many, many different variations on how this proclaims process is being executed. So we can pick out things that could be a compliance risk. We can also compare these behaviors from a timing efficiency perspective. So you can see along the top, I can see how long is our average duration when we complete one series of steps versus the next and on down the line and I can see some glaring areas where we're taking far longer than maybe our most efficient or expected path. We can also compare these behaviors using our cost metric. So I can see exactly how costly is it to me as a company when we execute on our claims one way versus another and do some comparative analysis and if I see anything that stands out I can select any specific path or behavior. If I want to hone in on these, apply them as a filter. Now I can move into my breakdown view because just knowing that you have these high cost behaviors occurring is really only half the battle. The next step is to start to learn a bit more about where, when, why are they occurring so we can make that information actionable and start to refocus our efforts. So in using our breakdown view, we can see how these 1,328 high cost claims break down by the state that they were submitted in. Nothing too interesting here, but if we look at it more so by, let's say, the agent responsible for processing any one of these claims, well, now it's a bit more interesting. Now I know who I want to go have a conversation with if I'm curious as to why it's costing us so much and taking us so long to process these claims as Carrie Ann is responsible for a large percentage of these high cost claims relative to her peers. Now I can take this information away and go have a discussion, possibly go retrain Carrie Ann as to how more efficiently work with her subset of claims.